Well, good morning, everybody. It's Leanne Greff with today's free class. My live videos are every Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time. And I always show current products, Stampin' Up! products, that is. Um, uh, fun folds and techniques, and that's kind of what um, what I do is mostly cards, a few 3D, which is one today, a 3D item that you're going to really enjoy. Uh, let me get my laptop synced up here. Oh, I got it. Okay, all right. Maybe you're watching live, and maybe you're watching later on YouTube or on Facebook. You can watch the replays as well. Um, either way, live you get to see and comment and win prizes when you're watching on Facebook Live. So if you want to join me at Flower Bugs Ink Spot each Tuesday at 11 a.m. Central Time, that would be great. And if you want to watch on YouTube or Facebook later, that's just fine as well. I feel like I have a frog in my throat, but I don't, I'm not sick. <clears throat> Maybe I was snoring in my sleep or something. <laughs> Okay, all right, let's get started. So as you know, last week uh, on the 1st, they added, let's see, 10 new products in the Celebration Choices. Now, it's amazing that it's February and everything in this catalog is still available. The uh, Softly Sophisticated paper did go unavailable for about five days, but it's back. So this one was unavailable, but it's back. I just checked everything is current and available. So there, everything is free with a $50 or a $100 order. Now I do wanna point out this is one of the new selections, free with the $50 order. It is a 48 pack of designer paper. It's, in our, it's from our annual catalog. It's not new, but it's new that it's free. So really cool, because it's a $30 item. And that it's free with a $50 order is pretty amazing. I'm assuming they might have extra on hand and they want to clear out their stock. So that's that's my guess. But um, yeah, so if you need to stock up on papers, inks, uh, stamp sets, bundles, whatever, this is the time to do it and uh, take advantage of celebration. While I'm on that, I can't talk enough about Paper Pumpkin and that if you get a current subscription or prescription, <laughs> um, subscri subscription, oh, as a nurse, sometimes I get really confused on those because I'm used to using the word prescription. Anyway, this is the February kit. You need to subscribe by February 10th. Looks like it's bunnies and chicks and springtime flowers. And this is M March's kit, M Memorable Meadows. So you can see they're only giving us a peek of some denim maybe and the floral stamp set. Oh, it's actually a free stamp set. This is the, the month they add an extra stamp set to the kits. So getting a three month subscription allows you to get one free $50 item. A six month gives you two $50 items or one 100. A year gives you four uh, $50 or two $100 choices. So it's a really good time to subscribe to Paper Pumpkin. Can't uh, emphasize that enough that it, that it really is a fabulous time. Why not get something free if you're going to enjoy Paper Pumpkin? Okay, other uh, February specials. Of course, the starter kit is amazing. $99 for $155 in product or 125 in product and the new glass mat studio. Now, if you place an order with me in February, you get this five card gold foil kit that has these fancy envelopes and some gold cording. So it's a kind of a starter kit uh, for five cards. So that's these are in our spring catalog. Okay, let's see. I also am giving a free nature sweetness PDF tutorial with all purchases. And is that it? I think that's it for specials. Oh, I want to show you. I'm done with my card kits to go and I want to show you um, what they are. So the first one features the uh, lovely lavender paper pumpkin kit. So I added on to it. So you do get... Uh, 12 cards. I added on envelopes to finish this up and some card bases. 
So here's the first set of four cards. You can see that some have a butterfly on them. Let's see, did I add one on one of these? Yes, right there I added a butterfly, and here I added one. You, it's optional. But because it's optional, you get four sheets of these paper butterfly accents with your kit. I'm also adding in these fine purple um, shimmer gems in the kit. So, um, so you have everything you need. Um, all you need is to stamp your greetings. Now this one uses the Love Die Cut In Kit and the other, you can choose what you wanna do. You'll get enough to do both um, on your four cards. And I use the Charming Sentiments stamp set, but you can use any greeting set that you have. So all you need is purple ink. And it honestly doesn't matter what kind of purple ink. I think even the old Rich Razzleberry would work. Gorgeous Grape is what I use, Lovely or Highland Heather would work, uh, many different purples, because as you can see, there's quite a variety in here. So this is $28, and it's approximately $20 in product um, with all the extras that I've added on. So that's the, let's see, Lovely Lavender Kit. Now the other one is my Poetic Let's see, Poetic Expressions. So look at this color combo. This is a uh, wild wheat with a bubble bath. Isn't that beautiful? I was so surprised how pretty that is together. Stampin' Up! really does know what they're doing. So I had to include one of my um, Quilted Stars uh, designs in here. And this is the um, Moody Mauve with bubble bath. Here is Crumb Cake with... <sighs> Lost Lagoon in white. And here is Boho Blue with one is Bubble Bath. This is a fun fold card. And the other one is just all Boho Blue. So you can do what you want with it. And the last one is another fun fold, two fun folds in this card kit with some other fun designs, um, fresh designs, and I use some die cuts. Now everything is included in this kit except ink and stamps. You get the, the trim. You get this pretty um, navy uh, natural trim. You also receive, now mine is half used, but in color dots. You'll get a half of a pack of the in color dots. And I used um, a couple different stamp sets, um, mostly thoughtful expressions, as you can see. So, and if you add this on, now this is a die cut, it's a bundle. If you add that on, you get a free $50 celebration choice. So that's a bonus. So when you do, if you do choose to order this from me, don't, and you want the bundle, don't use, don't buy it at my shop. I will send you an invoice for um, all of it with the bundle or just a stamp set. If you even add on stamp set and so you have to be over $30 because it has to equal 50. So the product in here is 20, add on $30 and you get a free celebration choice. So that's kind of how my kits work. If you um, order both kits, you save on shipping. All right, I think that's it. Let's get into door prizes. So last week the prizes were a set of black dimensionals and kind of a card kit with some designer paper, um, a couple different, uh, I think six card bases, designer paper, and some fine sparkle adhesive back gems. This is for commenting. Oh, I guess I gained a little tag along. I'll have to put that back. So this is for commenting. That commenting. This is for sharing. And the winners are Vicki Scheiber won the card kit, and Deb Ring won the black dimensional. So I need. I think I have. Vicky's address, but I want to confirm it. I sent you a message and I sent Deb a message as well. So remember, some of you, when I try and send you a message asking for addresses, you have your messaging turned off and you don't allow contacting. So I can't always contact the winners. So if you ever say, hey, I won, but I didn't get my prize, let me know. Um, it's, it's kind of frustrating when I want to give somebody a prize and I can't tell them. <laughs> So, so thank you for commenting, sharing, and um, yeah. now this week, because I am featuring this paper on today's video, I'm going to give a half a pack of this trusty toolbox designer paper away for commenting. So be sure that you, I'm sorry, for sharing, this is for sharing. 
For commenting, I have a set of opaque adhesive back gems. These are in the purples, I think, um, kind of a, a red and white. So those are prizes for today's video. So be sure you share and or comment if you want to get in on them. Oh, I do have an updated inventory status report. So um, there's a few things that are a long ways away and some that are really close. So painted lavender dyes are coming back in about a week or more. Uh, Adoring hearts embossing folder, that's the one with the die cut that cuts hearts and textures and that's May. Oh my goodness, they must really um, not be able to get that in. The Be Mine designer paper next week. Perennial lavender designer paper next week sometime. Modern oval punch in March and the heartfelt hexagon punch is like two months out or more. So yikes, um, some long, uh, long waits for some of those, those items. So that's what I have so far. There are some cardstocks that are out unavailable, Wink of Stella and that, but I don't have dates on some of that. So I didn't put it on here. Okay, I think we're ready. Like I said, we are playing with the trusty toolbox paper and the trusty tools uh, bundle. So if you have guys that uh, fix things, work on things, are fixer uppers, you, you just can't not get this set. It is so inclusive. Uh, there's so many things. I mean, I'm team dies and great, even though there's a dad in there. I know some of you don't always have a dad, but um, I know you know somebody that is a dad. So, um, so yeah, you can work that in. But yeah, the greetings are great and I love, love, love the dies. So that's what I'm focusing on today. And we're gonna make one of my projects that we made at Card Club this month. But first I'm gonna show you a card I made. Thank you for sharing, gals, I appreciate that. A card I made that I almost, almost decided to make here, but I, did, I changed my mind. So this is one I made yesterday. Just a little bit of a, a gate fold that has a side, um, side fold and I, I simply cut out a toolbox and added tools to it. I should have had a little bit more underneath this handle, but I missed that opportunity. So it's black with gray granite and white and then some of the designer paper. Now these tools were all cut from this. Most of them I fussy cut. A couple of them work with the dies. But um, I, I honestly, I'll sit and fussy cut and not even get up and do the die cutting because it's so easy. So, um, so yeah, that is one. These little screws, um, screw and bolts um, and screw heads are from the dies using the holographic paper from the annual catalog. So that's that. Now I'm gonna show what we're going to make. This is my double box card. So it folds flat. How many of you have made one of these? They're super, super simple. There's the back. I have two versions. I wonder if I, I think I set the other version in my, um, my stash. I keep track of all my cards um, that I make. So um, for my clubs. All right, so let's get started. I have the club packet. Oh, I can see I forgot something. Let's see, yep. I am actually using, because what I do at my clubs is I try not to have them die cut anything particularly or in uh, that needs to be die cut. I just, I just like to save time. So I'm gonna use the Stamparatus for that. Even though we don't have a Stamparatus anymore, I hope we get one back. But remember, this is a free project sheet that will be on my blog next week. Here's the, here's the preview of it. So it shows the front and the back and the measurements, the directions, all on there. So you can print it out, save it. I recommend getting a binder or creating a folder on your computer if you know how, how to do that. You can create a folder, um, project ideas, and all these can go in there and you can go and look for, for fun folds and things like that. Like this can easily be changed to a different type of card. So it is it's so simple. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna scoot this card away. 
and get out my glue. I when, I, when I'm making fun folds, I always want to use um, liquid glue. So come on, you were just working a minute ago. All right, I'm not gonna fuss with you. Because it's at the end of its life, I made sure I had a new one. Because <laughs> I just can't rely on that. Um, with, ooh, okay, now they come out really, really strong. I'm just gonna fold that over because that is the size of a A2 card. We wanna make sure that it's as shown. Okay, I have had, uh-oh, where are they? Oh, right here. Two strips of the measuring tape uh, designer paper. I love this stuff. It is so real from what people use, um, what, what my guys use when they're, working. They have those long yard sticks. I want to put them both the same way. So these are on the outside of our card. I did not add one here. Could have, but I didn't. So just make sure it's all folded. All right, our next step is to add the paper. And I want to make sure that it is uh, correct. I'm just going to add my glue here. So this is four inches. Now the, um, I don't recall what the measurements on the 11 piece, the 10 and a half. This gray, gray granite piece is 10 and a half by four and a quarter. Scores at five and a half, six and a three quarter, eight and nine and a quarter. So, so yeah. Okay, now we have a second piece. Now this is gray granite, this is Poppy Parade. Now I went with the colors that is in the designer paper. Thanks for sharing, good morning everybody. Yeah, thank you for joining me. So what I told my gals to do is add some glue. Like I said, fun folds, I always use my liquid glue. It holds so well and this is added about to the center of this yellow piece, and I wanna make sure it's even side to side. Okay, put that on there. Now, to get this side even, I'm going to kind of flip it open. Well, I'll open this like this so you can see. Add my glue. Now, I don't wanna get that glue anywhere else. I'm folding it flat, my glue, whoops, is right there so that I need to have it folded flat because I want it to fit in an envelope. So that's why when I, whenever I'm gluing anything and I want it to be folded flat, I make sure it's laying flat. So there's our double box. That's how easy it is. And this measurement, oh, let's see, it is six inches by three and a half and it's scored at Three and a half. Oh, there's another score I'm missing. I'll have to correct that. So three and a half, and I bet it is uh, four and a quarter, but I'll, I'll fix that in the measurements. Okay, so then we have this gray granite piece. Look at that texture. So this is the metal plate embossing folder. Did you even know we had that? It's in the annual catalog. Super cool and perfect for this uh this bundle, this suite of products. Just add that for our little texture. We'll let that dry a little bit. Texture, I always like to add, use um, strong glue when I add something textured. Okay, so we have this little wrench cut out from our holographic paper. I also have a few had a whole bunch of these little um, nuts and bolts and screws. I should say not nuts and bolts, but um, yeah, washers, screw head, and a screw. So we'll need those. Okay. Going to use our gray granite ink and stamp our greeting. And I love the greeting, you're the most awesome. I'm like, that works for anything. You're gonna tell your guys they're awesome, right? Especially when they're fixer-uppers and, and or just somebody you love. Okay, like I said, this is gray granite. It has a little bit of brown, a little bit of gray. It's, I like to 
It's almost like cement. Okay, all right, and on the back, here I did, Dad, you mean so much to me. However, I am going to make my son's birthday card. It's his birthday today. And he's coming over for dinner. He requested a specific meal um, that he's been craving. And of course, the red velvet cake he gets every single year. I asked him, I said, what do you want for your cake? Well, of course, <laughs> red velvet, Mom. So um, some of you, if anybody makes red velvet, I'm curious, how many of you make the cooked frosting with it? Or are you a cream cheese frosting? Oh, that's crooked and I have a hair on it. So do over, damp that off, clean it, check for fuzz or hair and do it again. So we are cooked frosting. I'm gonna check this just to see how that is. Okay, a little bit little bit up so yeah we are definitely a cooked frosting family it is it's made with flour milk and butter and sugar basically and you cook the paste and then you add your um you chill it yeah, you chill your paste and then you whip it with uh, butter and sugar and it is so light and so fluffy and not sweet that's, I think, what we like about it, is that it's just not sweet. So that was the wrench image, and now I have these little um, screws and washers. Some random stamping. Okay, so that's the stamping. Oh, oh, I'm not done yet. I need to go get my stamparatus. So hold on, I forgot to bring it out. So we're going to bring that over. And I'm sorry if you do not have one, they are not available anymore. There was a kind of a battle over um, copyright. Oh no, that really stuck well. That's not gonna be good. Let's see if I can grab that again. Come on you, no, that's just not gonna work, is it? Well, we'll we'll see about what I can do. All right, so what I tend to do for my gals at club is I cut out the plain die cut, insert it in the window. I have a window that I already die cut. Then I will ink up this one, the outline with gray granite. Now you can easily do this at home without the stamparatus, but I um, I wanna make it easier for my girls and they don't have to worry about lining it up. So then it just seems like it's not quite a perfect um, fit, but I'm gonna do my best. Okay, then put the other plate in. If any of you have a stamparatus, this is how you line it up. Put that in there. And then you get the Poppy Parade, and that's why it's staying pink, because we use Poppy Parade all month in January to make this card. Okay, and I can see it's not quite lined up perfectly, but we have, it's pretty good. Okay, I'm going to just clean that off. The more you can clean them off as you work, the less they stain. Okay. All right. Did I leave? Oh, I did. I left that right on there. Okay, then we use markers to finish that up and fill in. I'm using regular markers. Oh, that's not quite the end I want to do. These are our new markers that have a bigger tip on them than our old ones, especially this, um, this bullet tip is much bigger and much fuller. It's not, I don't think they're going to run out like the other ones did as much. So here is the measuring tape itself. And I'm going to do that too just because it matches. And then, yep, yeah, that's a nice late gray. Oh, I missed some of that poppy. Might leave it. Sometimes leaving a little bit of white when you're coloring is adds that little bit of dimension to the card like a shine or a um i don't know a highlight okay 
closing these up so I don't give I know I love the Stamparatus too. I, I'm sure they're gonna bring something back, but what it will be, I don't know. Yeah, I can't imagine they will not bring it back. Now, I thought about adding this off the card, but um, you know what I mean? So it s sneaks out, but I'm gonna do it like that instead. You could, I can't add it if when the card's folded, I couldn't add it outside that area. And I'm going to add one in the middle. So the next project I have is really, really cool. For those of you who like 3D items, it's, it's especially neat. So we're going to add dimensional to the upper part of my uh, measuring tape. And this is going to go across, and I need just a strip on this part okay so we'll add a little bit of glue on the end I kind of like it kitty wampus catty wampus whichever you prefer to say and a little bit of glue on the bottom so I added one dimensional because it's gonna sneak up a little bit all right, so now to glue these tiny little things down. <laughs> okay, what I tend to do is just a smear of glue. I'm barely squeezing, I don't want much out. And a little circle and another half circle. Okay. Uh, I always add my glue to my surface and not these little bitty things because I don't want to get gluey fingers as much as I can avoid it. Okay, and then we have the back. And this is my usual three and a half by four and three quarter because you can get five of them on your um, from a sheet of paper using my um, template. That I've posted many times. If you're new to follow me, following me, you can get those on my blog. Those templates. You can search uh, templates. So there we go. We have a birthday card for my son. And I might give this card to one of my kids to give to my husband. <laughs> okay, that is the double box fold. That is super fun and it stands up nice and you can still put it on your fridge or on your mantel even though it's a fun fold, but it's easy and they know how to open it. It's like, it's like intuitive. So yeah, I love this card. It was a fun one to make at clubs this month. Oh, I know I see something I forgot. The little, the little gems. I have in the classic matte dots, we have black, gray, vanilla, and white. And I will just add a couple up there. So that's that. Okay, next, next. Oh, this project is so cute. Let me make sure I have my pieces. Let me get out my pieces first and look at all those tools and a little gift card. Okay, what we're making is this little toolbox, this little treat, little um, candy toolbox. Isn't that just the cutest? And it's really, really easy. In fact, if you didn't even have the dies, I think you could just cut a handle or use a punch or something um, or even two circles or some of those banner dies that you cut close to each other and just cut off I think you could make that but it is in <laughs> if you want to if you have the bundle it's right here that's the handle right there so it's really really cool that they thought of that for us okay so this um, basic box is Four and a half by six and a half. I'm gonna get my scoring board out. This is my favorite uh, way to score. I have that beside my desk all the time. So we're gonna score at one and a half on all sides. And at first I thought this can't be right. Now this uh, project was cased from Fiona Carson. She shared this for demonstrators on the sneak peek of the new catalog products. So yeah, 
So you're going to fold, probably easier to fold first before you start cutting. Now in the directions on my template, it says to cut up to the score line on the short side. So hopefully that makes sense to you when you're doing this. And then we're going to notch this inside. It creates an easier um, box. Okay, cut up to the score line on the short side and notch. This is what we call a notching. Doesn't really matter how much, you're just trying to prevent any excess uh, buckling when you're creating a box. If you've made a box before, you'll know what I mean. Okay, these pieces are one and a quarter. Oh, don't tell me, I didn't do a third, fourth piece. Well, I guess I'll do that later. I don't know what happened to it. Could have sworn I had it. Okay. And it'll be easy to add later. We're not adding anything to the bottom of the box, just the outside edges. And it's much easier to add your designer paper when your box is flat. Oh no, I notched the wrong piece. <laughs> well, you know what? I think I can fix that. Yes, I can. I can, add, oh, yes, that'll work just fine. Isn't that interesting? Okay, when you're notching, <laughs> you wanna notch the outside pieces, and I'm pretty sure I just broke that in my direction, not the center. Well, that's interesting. Okay, now this is going to be like that, so I want it to run the same way. Could wait till it's all done and then add my, my designer paper. That would make sure it's facing the right way like the rest of it. Okay, so now, add those to my inside. Actually, I'm gonna do that so I can hide that wrongly notched piece. And you can try it without notching, you may not have to. Okay, so there. I, li I kinda like it when I make mistakes in front of you because then you can see that you can make do, you can change it up and fix it without any trouble. Okay, there's our box. Now, there's a bar. Huh, oh, would you know I didn't score that. Let me get my scoring board back out. There's a bar across the middle. So, oh, thank you. I'm glad you like it, Brenda. Okay, half an inch. So this is four and a half inches. And you can make it an inch. You can make it a half inch tall. You can make it an inch and a quarter if you want to, but you're just going to, it's four and a half and you score it at half inch from each end. Now on this card, I made it exactly center. And when you add that, you want to be centered and you want this half inch piece to rest at the top edge of the, the box. So it's not, I mean, I suppose it could be lower, but I'm adding these two uh, handles back to back to that so I don't want them to be very low. Now what's this? So this is the back so we can, oh, when, oh okay it does fit. So we can add some tools to the back. Now it is just a hair too wide. Let's see if I can fix that. I made it the same width as the box and you know I wonder if I'm just going to cut off that last set of dots and that should should work yes so I thought it would be really neat to hang some tools from the back and then leave kind of a stable place for a gift card in the back so that's kind of my plan all right so we're gonna we're gonna save that for later and add in our bar kind of fussy because you don't want it to, you want it to be even, but you don't want glue to be where you don't want it. And I want it to be in the center. So this is gonna have to sit for a little bit. That's pretty close. 
All right, now we'll add this. And I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go down to the bottom. I'm kind of winging this. I had this idea, I saw something similar um, online and I kind of wanted to make it my own. There we go, isn't that cute? Okay, so on the handles, I'm, I'm gluing one side at a time, just a little drop of glue, because I want this as high as I can get it. And that's gonna be glued to that bar across the middle. I want to make sure that's, it's hard to, I should have waited, I think. Should have make sure that's even. Yep, this one has to come up just a little bit. Okay, then we will add, actually glue all the way along on this one because I want it to be double reinforced. That's why I'm doing it back to back. Don't want to add too much. I always use the tip to smear my glue so it uh, doesn't leak out as you're adding it. Now it's a true handle for my box that I can use. So the one thing about, like, like I said, that little bar, I made it three quarters inch thick, half inch thick might be better because some of my little uh, Hershey's Kisses, whatever candy you're going to add in there, is it's a little, it won't, they're almost too thick, put it that way. It kind of bulges a little bit. Um, so if I think if I had a half, uh, another quarter inch off, they would fit on the bottom a little better. I don't know. I, I, I just stuck, I wanted something um, sturdy. So I added, I made it three quarter inch. All right, so I know I don't want anything to be glued below my gift card because that's where the gift card would be. Then you just start adding. So, and it can, the nice thing about 3D items, you have no limits as far as when you're adding this. So these items, so where to add this? This is the biggest thing. I feel like I want this on the, on the back. Do they hang like this maybe? You know, I can do whatever I want, but <laughs> what what should I do? And there's just so many fun tools to add. I think I'm gonna do my my um, saw like this. You know, I just started gluing them on, and um, yeah. So I know the back side is not going to be beautiful, but um, that's okay. So a little bit, you just add some glue and start adding tools. Now, I'm not gonna finish this all because, oh, I wanna leave some for hanging too, don't I? Okay, I should decide that first. Hammer, maybe those, maybe three things. And I don't know how that would hang. And now, one thing I wanna point out like this right here, if you were going to add a screwdriver, even this, I would use that anyway because you can obviously hide your ends that aren't really there. So you can decide, I mean, there's some things, of course, a drill, you probably couldn't do it, but some of these you could, you could still use and um, don't worry about what's not showing. So yeah, I think I'll do that. We'll do the hammer. Now, what am I gonna do? Rolled up glue dots. They are my uh, my goal too for if I want something that looks just a little bit 3D, but I don't want to try and hide a mini glue dot because it might show or a dimensional. So just a few rolled up. I'm kind of rolling it right on the the tape itself. So. Hammer will be there. I'll kind of bend it over so you can see. And just not sure. Yeah, I think this is gonna to have to be like that. And I'm not gonna finish this all because I wanna show you how I did that celebrate. And I'll show you that and what I'm referring to in just a minute. These are sticky. Okay. 
And I'm, I'm making sure that that um, gift card is still accessible. Okay, oh, I suppose I have to do this, don't I? So it actually hangs the right way. Kind of wanted to add more color at the top. Then the, now the glue, um, you could easily use dimensionals on this, but it won't show as much from the back. And then I will add more of my two. Oh, I forgot about this. Well, that's going to have to be, I think that looks actually pretty good. I'm going to do that. So make sure you know where you're putting it before you start gluing. So you don't have glue where you don't want it. So I still got the measuring tape and the wrench and all that to do, but I'm going to save that, set it aside. You know how to do that and show you this celebrate because it's different different than you normally would do with the uh, expression thoughtful moments hybrid so i wanted to highlight that because i think it's so cool so i die cut a plain white celebrate plain white starts out that way no ink but normally if you were going to ink you would grayer ink on the label side I just posted a video on my Facebook page. And then you add this. Then you nestle it right in there until it doesn't move. You add your piece of cardstock or a whole sheet, whatever you're going to do. Close it up. Now remember, this is all inked. And then you get that when you do it that way. I'm not doing it that way this time. I want a solid. See the difference? Let's see. There's the celebrate. So I want a solid celebrate instead of an outline. Okay, so I'm showing you how to do that today. All right, so this is what I have. I'm gonna get out a piece of scrap paper so I don't get this all full of ink and my gray granite. I think it shows up on the red designer paper. So you're going to ink it up. And now this is, I'm actually gonna set this down and use the brayer itself for pressure. I can see my E is not getting, there we go. And it's getting a little bit outside the line, as you can see. I'm going to turn that over. So what I would do, and that's why you don't want any pressure, even as little pressure as I did, I'm going to just trim that excess off on this C because I don't really like that um, extra ink there. I might just leave a little. I don't want to get it too skinny. Okay, so that's what we have. Now, if you, and there's a little bit on this T, if um, it's, it's very uh, delicate process. So there's our Celebrate, and that's using gray granite ink. And I could use my marker to fill in, in fact, I have it here. I, some uh, of the uh, embossing is just a little too light to, to fit it all. So then you simply just add some dimensionals and add that to your card. So isn't that cool? A little birthday treat box. Yeah, now this maybe could have been a different color because the tools are blending in with it, but I'm still okay with it. But there's the two different toolboxes that you can make with this trusty toolbox designer paper. So yeah, you, um, you the die, dies would help a lot, but you can easily cut all the tools from this paper. So I, I'm actually surprised this paper is still available. Um, I thought this would be the first seller besides the uh, Flight and Airy, the bird paper. Those have been my most popular with my customers so far. But um, yeah, then I have a little pencil I could do. Yeah, there's just so many different things on here. So those are the projects for today. Where is, here's my other card. So if you just joined us, you can see we have a couple of fun folds and a cute little treat box with the trusty toolbox designer paper and the trusty tools bundle. So this is in the spring catalog with the dies. This is free with celebration, a $50 order.
goes. Whenever we say a $50 order, remember that's before tax and shipping. So that's how they count that. Oh, I didn't show you sneak peeks yet. I promise sneak peeks. Okay, I got product in um, from the upcoming uh, online exclusives and I knew you'd want to see it. Now don't forget to comment and or share to get in on my door prizes. Okay, so um, first I'm gonna share a kit. So this month we added two kits, a Happy House Plants kit and Birthday Sparkle kit. Now I'm this is coming, but I have this. So I wanna show you, and it's $25, wait and see. Now I didn't put it together because this is a gift for my future daughter-in-law. But um, here's the instructions. It is four frames. And I thought they were paper frames, but they're paper um, mats. So here are the insets for the, you can kind of see this one's this way, this one's that way. Let's see, this is this one, and this is, must be, must be that one. I don't know. But the frames are not uh, plastic. They're, they're, they're like a, a poly something. They're probably a plastic. But they're real. And you get four of them plus all these pieces. So these are going to create your 3D plants that go on your frames. And then you get dimensionals to make them more 3D. But yeah, you get four frames. What a cool thing. I think these are like perfect for a bathroom or something. Yeah, I just, I, she is such a house, my my future daughter-in-law, such a houseplant lover. She wants houseplants everywhere. She cannot stop buying them. I know she's going to love this. And she loves our kits. I give her our kits all the time. So that's one of the sneak peeks. The Happy Houseplants kit is in our kit collection. Okay, now how many of you are coffee lovers? So this is the new, oh gosh, what is it called? A little latte. Um, designer paper that's coming out in the online exclusives in March. However, demonstrators can order in February. It's just so cute and the colors are just kind of pastel with the browns and just just really pretty designer paper. So that's the paper. Next is the bundle. So this is the bundle, Latte Love, and there is, uh, what do you call these again? <laughs> I had it. Uh, percolator and coffee cups and mugs and espresso cups. And then the stamp set that has some different, um, now of course the dies also match some of the paper. So this one will match that. I think this matches a couple of these mugs, I think. I haven't tested it. But that is available for demonstrators right now, or, and you can get them as your, um, part of your, your starter kit. Did you know that? If you wanted to join, you can get that as a starter kit. So I know I am not a coffee drinker, but uh, either. I am a chai person, but this works for chai tea and tea also. But here's the, the ribbon, and there are the little swirly coffee gems. So that is one that's like a sweet that's available. So that's one item that I have to share with you. And where do I put this? I have a quite a, a um, mess on my desk. Now the next one is called a flowering zinnia. And this is a bold and bright colors with zinnias. I love zinnias. So some, some um, kind of soft or, or less busy patterns. Oh, I think I missed this one. This one should have been the other way. I'll pull that out. I like to show both sides of the designer paper so you can see all pieces. So that's the uh, flowering zinnias. This is a new embossing folder. I don't remember what it's called, but it's zinnias. So it's a big six by six. Here is the bundle, Simply Zinnia, that goes with that. What beautiful, um, people are starting to post already their items for their projects, and it's gorgeous greetings and really pretty dyes. Lots of, of ways to use that, and I believe some of the dyes work with the designer paper. That now, one of my favorite, favorite things are uh, 
sequins, adhesive back sequins, because they're so flat. I love how flat sequins are, and they just have that sparkle. So that is, I don't think there's a ribbon with this. That is the Zinnia products with the embossing folder. So both of these, the coffee and the Zinnias, I believe are going to be among my March card kits to go. So that's my plan. I'm gonna start working on them after this, well, later this week, I think, if I have time. Now there are a few other products. This is, oh, I didn't write down the names. A um, couple set of embossing folders. They're the three and a quarter, I think. Yep, about three and a quarter by six and a quarter. So hopefully you can kind of see, oh boy, I know it's so much reflection. Kind of flowers with a um, arch and then diamonds on that one. Now there is a, oh, I remember, remember the, how many of you remember way back when that, well, yes, we do. Well, we, we had a purple ribbon. I think it went, it retired, didn't it, Melanie? Maybe it did retire. Yeah, you're right. We need a purple ribbon. Um, but remember those curly greetings we had like 20 or 15 years ago? I loved them. So I, I had to order this right away. I thought this is just so perfect at the bottom of your card or across your card. Cute little banner. There is a bundled happy little things. And this has a cute little banner dies, and I'm like, I love little banners. So this works with some of these smaller greetings here, and then they are bold and outline um, greetings. So I had to order that. <laughs> and then lastly, I ordered this one because this looked like something, I mean, I wish I could make this better. Isn't that a great thing to say to somebody? Or I don't have all the right words. I'm wishing you comfort. They're just, you know, there's no good card for this. Cancer sucks. I mean, healing, rest, peace. I had to have this set because it has. It says things that you don't always know how to say. So, yeah, I really like these sets. So these are some of the online ex exclusives. Remember... If you're not a demonstrator, you can get these now in your starter kit. So that's one way to get things early. It's one of their favorite things, right, Karen? When, when my friend Karen, who I just saw posted or uh, uh, commented, when she found out that demonstrators got to see, see and order things early, she said, I'm in. That, that settles that. She was right on it. <laughs> that's her favorite thing about Stampin' Up! Okay, I think that's it. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate your patience and your attention and that you tune in every day or later, maybe on YouTube. All right, thanks and have a great week. And don't forget, if you make a card, send a card. We want to share our hobby with our family and friends, right? And make their day. All right, thanks everybody. Have a great week. Bye-bye.